to my channel um welcome back to another week of videos i'm super excited um to bring you guys videos this woman's month i'm super excited because this month is all about women and i'm really going to try and make every single video about women um some of the topics that I'm planning on talking about and um, doing interviews with people are really nice topics and it's stuff that's just fun to talk about and stuff that really um, resonates with women and you learn so much more about them. But then other things um, are not as nice to talk about but it's still topics and things that happens out there daily um, and it's things that really need some awareness um, so that we as women can help other women. Um, so I thought just before my um, guest arrived today i would do a little interview and just chat to you guys um just so that you are on the same level and on the same page as me so firstly i hope you guys had a very good week and that you enjoyed the last um, makeup video i did and the makeup tutorial with renee and then secondly um the topic that there's two topics that i will be speaking about this month one is about domestic violence and woman abuse and the other one is about um, um, human trafficking and sex slavery. It's two very harsh topics to talk about, but I think it's definitely topics that need to be um, talked about because awareness needs to be spread because this happens out there every single day um, to thousands and thousands of women. Um, so it's not gonna be easy topics and it's not gonna necessarily be a fun interview and a fun um, talk to have, but it's definitely things that need to be talked about because it's these um, topics that people don't want to share on social media because people are not interested in listening to the hard stuff and seeing the hard stuff. Um, but I think it's definitely something that's so important and we as women have the ability to help other women and that's the important thing. The person that I will be speaking with today is Leah. If you are from South Africa and you're Afrikaans and you know Afrikaans music, you know that she is a really good um, South African African singer she's got the voice of an angel and she's even a better person she's actually the spokeswoman for Hey Yabis which it's, is which is the foundation that I will be talking um, with and about today and um, they're actually a house in Cape Town that takes in women who suffer from um, domestic violence and woman abuse um, so she's gonna join me a bit later on I've met her once in real life before and she was just such a lovely person to talk to and um, so I'm very excited to have her with me on my couch today and hopefully um, you guys will be informed a little bit and will understand and know a bit more about domestic violence and woman abuse and then hopefully this can also help you help someone else out there thank you guys i'll see you with leah hi guys um i'm very excited my guest is here um, as i told you leah is here today with me and she is going to be talking with us regarding domestic violence and woman abuse and everything that goes with that so let's start by the first question i didn't actually ask you this question beforehand okay. but the first question i usually just ask my guests especially if it's a woman i ask them what makes you feel confident in yourself oh that is a very Good question to start off with. Well, I think just the fact that accepting who you are and um, even accepting your imperfections, that it just it gives me confidence because this is who I am. I can't change myself and I'm actually really happy with who I am. Um, I think that's... That's, that's very good and that's very thing. important. I think mm -hmm. I always say like we all have our imperfections, we all have our uniqueness and mm -hmm. we should just embrace that because that's mm -hmm. who we are and we should become confident and comfortable mm -hmm. in that. I have a really good line. Um, that goes with that if you are your own unique self then there is no competition Aww. let that sink in for a while yes yeah. because there's only one of you mm -hmm. exactly yes. <laughs> okay so as i told you guys leah is the spokesperson for hey Siabes. so i'm gonna start by asking her to just kind of and um, tell us a little bit more about hey Siabes, what they are what they do and how they work so hey Siabes, uh, started in 2008 and it's a safe house it's a physical house um, for abused women and children so the mommies and the children get rehabilitated there and get sent back back in the world with new self-confidence and just stronger women and stronger children which is amazing and um, they do great work and it's it's I'm very honored to be a part of something like this uh, an organization that just does amazing work um, it's very close to my heart. I was not in a physical, physically abusive relationship, but I was in, a, in an emotionally abusive relationship. Um, and it leaves scars forever and ever. So I think um, I just want to, I just want to help. I just want to help where I can. And Heisey Obvious is just absolutely fantastic. Um, we solely count on donations. Um, 
we don't get any help from the government unfortunately so we have amazing people that help us throughout the year we've got um uh shows that we do and we've got our functions that we do and um we do outreaches and uh we see what we can how we can help the women and children of our country that's amazing yeah. that's really amazing i think we are so many women and children in mm -hmm. this country and mm -hmm. unfortunately there are so many who get abused and go mm -hmm. through domestic violence and it's so amazing that they've got a little safe home and they've got mm -hmm. a place they can go to and they can get help and they can get out of that stronger and start a new life completely independent. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's really We're amazing. all about women empowerment and yes. I think we're in, we're in a time where there's this movement of women supporting each other and even around the world, you know, we need to build ourselves up. Um, and then we obviously need the men to respect us for that yes. and we also need the men to stand up for our women and yes. children so then the next question I have is when we talk about domestic violence and abuse of women and children um, what does that exactly entail I know that there isn't just physical abuse mm -hmm. what types of abuse do you get um, and when we talk about someone is being abused um, all the types of abuse that you get mm -hmm. out there so you are very correct, um, it's not only just physical abuse, you get emotional abuse as well, where you get completely manipulated and, and dominated until a point where you have no confidence in yourself, um, you don't believe in yourself, and you are just completely dependent on the abuser. Um, that leads me to the next type of abuse, which is financial abuse. Uh, we, we've had women where they, they have a fancy car, but they literally do not have access to their own funds, to their own money that they make when they work. Um, everything is taken away from them, stripped away from them. They arrive at Hasty Arbus with absolutely not a cent on their names because they are completely dependent on the abuser. They take every form of confidence, every form of, of their work ethic, everything that take, gets taken away from them completely. Um, then obviously you also get the sexual abuse where you get forced to do sexual acts that you don't want to um, and that could also get extended to where the abusers put cameras on and that also extends to human trafficking um, but I think physical abuse is obviously you would think it's the most horrible but emotional abuse it it leaves the same scars on the heart um, words are very powerful and um, if used in in the wrong way it can do even more harm than than a you know a blow to the face yeah mm -hmm. no, that's very true i think it's so important that people realize that when you're abused it isn't just physical and um you might just think oh this this person is just being a little bit mean but it it can go so as deep as being emotionally mm -hmm. emotional abuse and it can hurt, really hurt a lot mm -hmm. and um I think people shouldn't take any abuse more lighter than than another. Mm. You shouldn't abuse think that, abuse. yeah. You shouldn't yeah. think that financial abuse um, is lighter than physical mm. abuse because mm. at the end of the day, it has the same impact on that person. Mm. Um, and it's important that you look at all the abuses at being the same, mm. being equal. Mm. Um, yes, any, any type of abuse. I mean, it means that you are completely overpowered, um, and basically he owns you. Um, and <laughs> women should not be owned by anyone <laughs> so i think um just any form of abuse where you have absolutely no power over your own abilities over your own movements um we know of, of women that were locked up in houses for years and years um it's absolutely horrifying so any form of abuse is just it's just wrong and it happens and it happens to people around you that you don't expect it from mm. to happen and it's i think it's also more general, in, it happens more in general than you actually think yeah and a lot of times it is people in the same home or it's people mm. it's family members and stuff mm -hmm. like that and i think it's also very important just to say and to remember that we today are talking about the abuse of women and children but it's not to say that it doesn't happen to men as well yes um, of course of course of course we're just focusing mm. on the women and children today because it's mm. women's month and we're trying to get mm. that word out but i think it's important that you should also remember it can also happen to men out there and mm. it can also happen to um, boys and stuff like that that mm. you shouldn't overlook that completely mm. because mm. it can happen to anyone whose personality is of the softer kind or mm. you know who is more um vulnerable to abuse mm. um so yeah i think that's really good that we now know as well that there's different types of abuse and then we should look out for all of them and not mm. just the physical ones the um, blue eye or the you know mm. broken nose or whatever mm -hmm. but also look at the emotional side of it and mm. how it can affect people mm. and i mean it happens behind closed doors mm. so you're not necessarily going to know immediately um but yeah if you can look out for some signs um 
I think it might be in some of the questions, but I know if you can look out for um, your friends or family that if they, they kind of keep to themselves, they start becoming a bit more um, depression prone, um, they make excuses to not come to your house or not make visits. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously the physical you know that that shows a lot um, but also if they maybe start with like an addiction to, to medication mm -hmm. or even they start drinking more um, it's maybe just slight differences um, but irregularities in their personalities uh, they also tend to lose confidence um, they're not as extroverted anymore they keep to themselves um, yeah there's a there's quite a yeah. few signs that you can look out for just anything that kind of tells you in your gut something's a little bit off i mean that's a sign that's a that's why we yeah. have a gut feeling yeah, so yeah, yeah. act on that gut feeling that that must be a red light and i think the sad thing is most of the times when people get abused they whether it's children or women they love their Leader, abuser yeah. you know it's mm, like mm -hmm. a child gets abused but abused by its, its dad and yeah. they still love their dad because it's their dad mm. um so they won't necessarily tell you to your face, oh, my dad's abusing me because mm -hmm. they see it as they are, they're going against the person they love, you know, mm -hmm. they don't see it as an abuser. I think that's um, also why it happens that a lot of these cases don't get reported mm -hmm. because it is family members that do this to them. Um, and I think also when you're at a very young age, you're very confused. Um, it might happen to a child and the mother doesn't even know. Um, or the mother doesn't believe the child. Or the mother doesn't believe the child. Um, and I just feel like if a child comes to you with any sort of problem like this, you need to act on it. Don't don't think that the child is lying because even if you think the child is lying, there must be some sort of um, reason why they would say something like this. Whether it comes from a movie or whatever, like obviously this this is triggering them. Yeah. So look out for those signs as well. As you said, if, if a child comes to you with this, rather act on it. You mm -hmm. rather be wrong about it and be relieved mm -hmm. that it isn't happening yeah. than not acting on it and looking back years back mm -hmm. um, and seeing how mm -hmm. you, there was something and you missed it and it mm -hmm. could have just stopped years and years of um, pain for this child. I do understand also that people, it's that feeling of you don't want to get involved. You don't want to get too close. Um, which I understand in a way. Also, I think it's also important to to not go in full force because um, you might take them completely by surprise. Um, but but try and get involved if you can. Yeah. Be even if it's just by being supportive of yeah. your friend that it's happening to. Um, yeah, you can't really the abuser. If you if you take on the abuser, that could be a very scary. Yeah, that's process. that's the next question I want to actually just. Let's go over there. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's go, go over there that. so that they know where we are. What are the do's and don'ts mm -hmm. um, when it comes to someone being abused? If I see my friends being abused or mm -hmm. I know of someone who is being abused, what should I do and what should I not do? Because I am assuming there's things I shouldn't do because it might trigger the abuser to mm -hmm. even act out more. Mm -hmm. I think um, the whole thing of being supportive of your friend, mm -hmm. um, don't bring them down and say, but why are you still staying? rather be the the one that turns this into um the the support system and and i think clarity i think that clarity is a very important word to use for this um because the abused they don't necessarily see it as a problem yeah. because they have been manipulated yeah. so much and they've been dominated so they think it's their fault um and they don't they don't actually want to get help because it's their partner that they love mm -hmm. um and that's obviously a horrible place to be at so they need to get clarity that there's a problem. They need to want to be helped. So if you can get them to that point where they realize, I need to get out, that would be great. Because yeah. you cannot really force someone to make a decision to leave their husbands if they don't actually feel like there's a problem. Yeah. Because then the rehabilitation process is going to be really tough. Yeah. Um, that's very true and I, I i've had a friend who was in a emotionally abusive relationship as well and at the end of the day i just as well learned that it's not going to help if i tell her you need to get out this is not working for you this is not the right thing because she needs to see it for herself to realize she needs to get out mm -hmm. and all i'm going to do by saying those stuff is just drive me and her away from each other exactly and then she's, she's going to have no one she's going to choose the abuser exactly. over you because you are kind of it's not like you are judging her or anything you're actually trying to help but they're in such a state of mind where yeah. they're not going to believe anything that yeah, you're saying, yeah, yeah. unfortunately yeah. um so yeah don't show sympathy rather show empathy um 
they're already feeling sorry for themselves already i don't they don't want to feel like you feel yeah. sorry for them um, and um should you should you, I, i'm assuming you shouldn't mm -hmm. also approach the abuser or approach the as an yeah. outsider it's that's a tough one because you can't really negotiate with an abuser um you might get thrown into this similar situation you can get hurt um it is something that the police and the law system needs to they need to intervene um, are you are you allowed to for instance contact um, the law or contact someone mm -hmm. to go check out the situation i think you're allowed to yes um i think the abused should probably just get notified about that um as well as the fact that you don't want to catch them off guard mm -hmm. um especially uh, yeah, it's, it's actually a tough one because if she's in a bad space, the police arrives at the house. She can just say, well, my husband's here and we're fine. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a really, it's a yeah. tough call. And I know we all, we want to help and we want to, but I think the, the best part, the best way of doing this is probably to get the abused to, to agree. Yeah. We need to contact the authorities. So they're on the same level as mm -hmm. the people who organized mm -hmm. the police or someone mm -hmm. to come. Yeah. yeah. Is there any chance you can give us some statistics on mm -hmm. um, domestic violence and the abuse of women and children so that we can just really um, get people out there to mm -hmm. understand the seriousness of this and to understand why we are spreading awareness? Mm -hmm. So two out of five women get abused in some for, form of way whether it's emotional physical sexual or financial two out of five that's four out of ten women oh in this country so three out of ten women get sexually abused or raped every day in our country and i might be incorrect here but as far as i understand every three hours in our country a woman gets murdered that's every three hours a woman gets murdered that's ridiculous i'm getting goosebumps by just saying it um and just in lockdown itself just the, th the first three weeks of hard lockdown there was eighty-seven thousand calls of domestic abuse and these are only the reported calls imagine how many households don't report these incidents um, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um it is really horrible it is it is ridiculous it's horrifying and we just really need to speak up about this i think it's also if you're like us and you're not in the position it kind of you feel like it doesn't affect you mm -hmm. um and i think that's the wrongest thing because there's someone else my age you know sitting out there being abused or mm -hmm. yeah i think it's just so important we really spread the word and mm -hmm. i didn't actually know these statistics before she she just said them i'm actually just so shocked because I get in contact with one, 10 women a day and mm -hmm. you want to tell Easily. me about almost four of them gets abused daily and I'm sitting here in my home comfortably with nothing mm -hmm. wrong and you know I just feel like I'm in such a grateful and like blessed position to be but I feel mm -hmm. like there's so many women out there who isn't in that position and mm -hmm. we have the voice and we have the ability to spread the word and to help them mm -hmm. so yeah no I completely agree I think people don't realize how often this happens to to anyone around us um, it doesn't matter if you're a professional person I know of lawyers of doctors they were the abusers so it's people with an, a great background with a great upbringing they have all these degrees behind them and they are still the abusers so it doesn't actually matter where you come from who you are it can happen to literally anyone it doesn't even matter if you're in a really high position in work or um, in any in any form of form of department um, it, it happens everywhere every everywhere yeah and i think it's also it couldn't be that people those people that you think have their life together and they look like they have the perfect life and mm -hmm. meanwhile they can be abused at home and no one knows about it as well mm -hmm. um so yeah it's just scary to think that it is it happens everywhere and we should be grateful and blessed if it doesn't happen to us because mm -hmm. at the moment i mean if you think one more woman per 10 women it's 50 percent of this woman in this country being abused daily mm -hmm. And um, those are just statistics that is true and it's real. We're not making anything and up. And that's and only, once again, it's only the reported cases. So yeah. you don't even know. It's probably more. It's probably more than that. Oh my yeah. goodness. Okay. And the last question I'm, I'm going to ask Leah. Is, what should I do if I'm a woman who is in a situation um, where I'm being abused? Which steps should I follow and what should I do to get out? So I think the most important thing is that knowledge is power. So um, empower yourself with the knowledge of 
who in your community stands for um, or stands against domestic violence um, is there a safe house there is there anyone an organization that can help you your church uh, the police um, they're all there to help you mm. um, one thing is also one thing that I think you should do is always keep a little bit of a like a bag packed if something happens and you really need to flee very quickly and immediately um, make sure that you have all of your official documents with you your ID your driver's license passport um, if you have children their birth certificates mm -hmm. because to get them back if you're out of the house it's going to be really really tough mm -hmm. um, make sure you've got enough airtime on your phone if you need to phone someone um, but in some situations you you have an abuse that doesn't even have a phone because the the man took it away from her but anyway so if you can do that that is that is a very or just have a small amount of cash even if it's 100 rand then you have something mm -hmm. or 50 rand then you have cash to go to someone or ask if you can call or mm -hmm. just you know have something on yeah. you um and reach out to family members and to friends people who you trust mm -hmm. um i'm sure there must be someone that is willing to help you um and to get the hands dirty in this situation but yeah, yeah so i think reach out and um empower yourself with what you have around you and what is in your community yeah thank you so much leah for talking with us today i really appreciate it i appreciate appreciate that you came out and that you were able to share some of the statistics and mm -hmm. share just more about um, domestic violence and the abuse of women and children um yeah i really hope that you guys learned a lot i learned a lot i heard a few stuff that i think was harsh to hear but mm -hmm. it's stuff that needs to be heard and it needs to go out there mm -hmm. um so hopefully you guys will take this video and even spread it further and spread the word mm -hmm. um domestic abuse is real mm -hmm. and we need to realize that so and thank you for the opportunity thank you for the platform um i think it's great that there's a bit of a movement um, that we can speak up about these things yeah. and hopefully it will inspire abused to to get out yeah. of their relationships yeah. if you ever see one sign or feel in your gut that something is not right in this relationship whether you're in the relationship or whether you are seeing a relationship like that um, and you see some sort of red light please leave it's not worth it thank you so much guys for tuning into my video today i really appreciate it um, I want to say I'm sorry it was quite a hectic to topic to talk about but then again I also don't feel sorry about it because it's stuff that really needs to be talked about and it is topics that it's stuff that happens out there every single day and people need to spread the word and spread awareness to help other women I really hope that this video helped you understand a little bit more about domestic violence and woman abuse and that if you are someone who is in the position of being um, abused or in the situation of domestic violence or if you know someone who is in that situation you can um, really just point them, point them into the right direction and help them get out of it as soon as possible. I really hope that you guys will share this video, share it between girls, share it between women. It's so important that the word and the message will go out there and get spread. Um, I, I think it's so important that it doesn't only get spread between the older generation but also between the younger generation of um, girls and women um, because they are the easy targets and it's hard for them to um, necessarily make their own decisions and get out of a, a toxic relationship if that is the um, thing happening so I think spread it um, look out for the signs if um, if you see someone is being abused and really try and help them um, get out of it as soon as possible down in the description below I will be put, putting down Hayes Yarbez's um, email their contact number their website contact them if you are someone who is in the situation of domestic violence or women abuse or if you just want to contact them and help them um, see them what they see what they need call them um, and really just try and spread the word um, I will also be putting down some other helplines if you're not in Cape Town um, just um, helplines you can contact if you're in the situation and you need some help or if you know someone who is um, but yeah I, I really hope that you guys learned a lot I definitely learned so much and I think it's just so important that we should talk about things like this and really just spread the word because it's stuff that happens out there every single day um, thank you so much guys for listening and I will see you guys in the next video.